Hi, this is Monique, and I'm welcoming you, welcome you all to Monique Stallings Ministries. I've been out a while, but I felt it to be a pressing in my heart to speak about what's going on today from a biblical perspective, from a Christian biblical perspective. Um, it deals with pestilence, diseases, and sicknesses. And we as Christians know that this has been spoken about in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Um, I would encourage everyone to please visit my website at www.moniquestallingsministries.com where I have a blog that um, will depict or explain the history from the information that I found through scholar, scholar articles along from biblical perspective. But I want to leave this note by saying that do we want to ask ourselves how does this pandemic lined up with scriptures? We are dealing with this virus that has been the COVID-19. But what is the Bible's view on the matter? Now according to scripture there are many known scriptures throughout the Bible that speaks on these matters. And all of these viruses result in disobedience, sin, and an unrepentant heart. Moreover, it is seen in the environment what a man, when a man does not listen to the laws of the land. Different ethnic, ethnic, group, eth ethnic groups I'm sorry, that choose to eat unclean things that are not properly cooked are due to the environmental hazards within a community. This is seen in individuals who refuse to turn from his or her lifestyle that is unpleasing to their creator, which is the, which is the God of the universe. See, this is just not a one-sided answer, but it comes from many disobedient actions that causes a stumbling block for our people. Besides, we as Christians coupled with non-believers have allowed the enemy known as Satan the deceiver, the accuser, to infiltrate these viruses through some of our own disobedience, actions, along with governing bodies who govern the world. Nevertheless, there are many great nuggets that the Bible speaks about on how these pestilence come into play. I found it fitting to deal, deal with food and how these pestilence can show itself as a virus due to unhealthy eating. The Bible states, and the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying to them, speak to the people of Israel saying, these are the living things that you may eat among all the animals that are on, that are on the earth. Whatever part the hoof and its cloven foot and choose the cub among the animals you may eat. Nevertheless, among those that chew the cub or part of the hoof, you shall not eat these. The camel, because it chews the cub, but does not part the hoof, is unclean to, is unclean to you. And the rock, badger, because it chews the cub, but does not part the hoof, it is unclean to you. And this comes from the book of Leviticus 11, verses 1 through 4. Adding on, the scriptures do give hope for those who obey the words of the Lord. In the book of Psalms, the God our Creator has made a promise to those who obey Him. His words in times of pestilence, viruses, and other types of plagues. The Bible states, He who dwells in the shadow of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and from the, pe the daily, deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wing you will find refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and your buckler. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. And this comes from the book of Psalms 91, 
1 through 16. Now these are only a few scriptures that I have touched on, but the Bible reveals why things happen in this earthly realm. When there is disobedient within a man, coupled with what the Lord will and can do for those that are obedient to his commandment. Church community, please seek the Lord. Seek him in scripture so that you will not let the fears and the terrors that you hear that is happening around you. Seek God, repent, turn from your ways so that he will heal your land. Go in peace. In Jesus, Yeshua's name, amen.